On it's Sarah Kimani. So, Sarah, just looking back at the disappointment by the LGBTI community when the court postponed the ruling, what is the feeling now? Is there still hope that they will be able to exercise their right to exist? Well, no, indeed, they are disappointed and they feel that uh, the government is just uh, postponing the inevitable. Also, the judiciary is postponing the inevitable. They say, uh, other countries before Kenya have set the precedent, uh, including India, which had similar laws. Uh, just to uh, indicate to you that uh, this section uh, 162 of the Penal Code is actually uh, a British colonial law, uh, which uh, at the time was called Sodomy Laws. And so they're saying that if India did it sometime last year, and now we've seen Angola do it, and the Trump is also fair to be doing it uh, next month, then Kenya uh, will have no choice but to also repeal the law. And they say it is important that it is done because it not only uh, perpetuates uh, discrimination, but it also leads to violence against members of the gay community, but also uh, ensure that they continue to be denied basic rights, including the right to health. And so they're very disappointed that some of them feel very hopeful that when they come, uh, the right decisions, according to them, will be made. Just a final question, Sarah. Is it believed to be anti-African by those who um, pro propagate this discrimination? Yes, indeed. A lot of people say that uh, it is an African. But when you speak to the human rights uh, lawyer that we spoke to, Commander Mushoke, he brings it into perspective when he says in 2014, the African Union itself indicated that uh, we cannot continue uh, to look the other way when sexual minorities uh, undergo harassment or uh, deny their basic rights. And so they agreed and they passed uh, a resolution that uh, looks to include them and to uh, ensure that they are also included in the planning uh, of uh, basic okay. uh, abilities in, the, in their country, in their various countries. I uh, remember when we look at the various uh, statistics on HIV prevalence in Africa, uh, members of the gay community now uh, seem to be the most affected because they are denied health care services. And some of them okay. because of the stigma that is associated with. Thank you very okay. much. Thank you. Thank you very much, Sarah Kimani, our East Africa correspondent. We'll have to leave it there. And to end off, we look back on a story that refuses to die.